Someone reminded me the other day that today is going to be the 33rd anniversary of the founding of Ameta. It's good to reflect on the fact that we have this opportunity to practice here because of the work of a lot of people over many years. Have some gratitude for all that. Because without the work of other people, where would we be? Without the help of other people, we'd be living in little caves. Wouldn't know anything much. It's because of people like the Buddha, people like the Johns, and all the lay support that have kept Buddhism going. That we have this opportunity to practice, to have a sense of what's right and wrong in life, what's skillful and what's not skillful. There's a story about Ananda Bindika was going to visit a friend one time in Rajakrut. He arrives there and the friend is very busy preparing for a meal, a big meal. So Ananda Bindika is thinking, is this a wedding? What's going on? And the friend says, no, we're having a Buddha here. The house today. And then the Bindi gets struck suddenly by the word Buddha, awakened one. He said, It's been a long time since I've heard that word. Someone who's awakened. Just the word got him inspired. And here we are now living in a world where the Buddha's teachings have been around for a long time. We've had the opportunity to practice them. We don't know how much longer that opportunity is going to last, so we have to make the most of it while we have it. That's how we show our gratitude for the Buddha and all the people who've kept the Dharma alive over these many, many years. Here at Vameta, it depends on the generosity of the people who gave the land, people who built the buildings from the very beginning. And John Sawat's vision of this place is a place where people from all nations could come and practice. And it's becoming a, a reality. So we're all part of that reality, make sure that we do our best. So there'd be more noble people in the world. People who carry forth the Buddha's teachings not only in words but also in their actions and in their minds. So the gift that we're depending on here, all the many gifts that we're depending on, help us to make a gift to the rest of the world.